South Africa 8-13 Ireland. Paris Epic gives Rugby World Cup a shot in the R a thrilling match between South Africa and Ireland at the Rugby World Cup. Ireland's victory adds excitement to the tournament, on Tom Dupont's injury overshadowed Francis win against Namibia, Argentina's win over Samoa and England's domination of Chile. Ireland vs. South Africa A thrilling World Cup showdown, I love watching the team figure out a game as they go along, said Ireland forward coach Paul O'Connell. Ireland's ability to adapt and execute has been on full display in their first ever World Cup meeting with the Springboks, in a heart-stopping match. The champions and pretenders electrified the Stade de France. It was a thunderous test match that gave the tournament a timely shot in the R. Another wounded Southern Hemisphere Titan, Australia, takes on Wales in line. Will they be able to surpass the excitement of the Ireland vs. South Africa showdown? Ireland's triumph on the rugby field line out malfunctions, scrum inferiority, missed chances, Ireland's nerves were on full display. But despite the shaky start, Ireland's resilience shone through. With 28 wins out of their past 30 tests, Ireland has proven their mettle, watching the players overcome an air student performance to experience one of their greatest nights on the sport's biggest stage, said O'Connell. Ireland holds strong against South Africa in rugby match they roll with the punches and pierce the opposition defence with a Mac Hansen tie, said the reference material. Ireland showed incredible resilience against the formidable South African team. In the second half, the box often puffed but stubborn Irish defending dagged the men in green to the finish line. Ireland's defence held strong, preventing South Africa from scoring. I think as the competition goes on we need to be better, said Ireland head coach Andy Farrell. Despite the challenges, Ireland found a way to overcome and stay focused. Ireland's ability to stay composed and not let emotions get in the way has been key to their success. They continue to impress in the tournament. This honestly does not have any bearing on the title or the quarterfinals, said Johnny Sexton, the experienced Irish player. We cannot look beyond the next game. That is the biggest lesson we can take from past World Cups. Belief within the squad is clearly building, as they aim to make it out of the pool stage. Sexton knows that big pool stage wins can be false dollars, and he is drilling this mindset into the Irish players. Kicking woes in the South Africa versus Ireland match I could empathize with Libok said Sexton, recalling his own kicking struggles at the 2011 World Cup. Both Manny Libok and Fafty Clark struggled with their kicks. Missing conversions and penalties. The absence of master goal kicker Hannah Pollard was felt as South Africa's kicking game faltered. Jack was near their team, with their bomb squad of replacement forwards, put Ireland on the back foot. Kicking was plagued the South Africa versus Ireland match, leaving both teams with missed opportunities. South Africa's disappointing loss to Ireland, an unconverted chiseling goal try was a disappointing return for South Africa's numerous entries into the Irish 22, said Nineba. We lost two balls close to the Ireland terrain, and we had another opportunity late on in the game. Ireland were better than us on the night. No complaints, South Africa is still on track to reach the quarterfinals, and could meet Ireland again in the final. Thrilling Rugby World Cup match. Ireland vs. France Ireland delivered an electrifying performance, captivating the crowd on Saturday night. But there's no time to rest as they prepare to face Scotland in a fortnight. Now, all eyes are on the high-stakes pool C match between Wales and Australia on Sunday.